Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Sailing Prosperity. As much as we love this place, we have to brave the gale in our desperate need for some water supplies. But it doesn't take long on our crossing before we pass some of the most beautiful places along the Norwegian coast, even at winter time. So it's all natural that the morale is on top while we wait out the bad weather in Kristiansand. But the reality is going to hit us hard. As for everyone was just to make a team decision that uh, we... Uh, and we will tell you more about what that at the end of this video. Welcome to Sailing Prosperity. We are a family of five from Norway who absolutely love sailing around and embarking on new adventures. Here we have 12 year old Selina. And this is 9 year old Victoria. And the youngest one is Carolina who is 3 years old. And we are Thomas and Katrin. On this channel we will share videos and provide more information about our daily lives and exciting life experiences of the Flinskos family. Today we are leaving this uh, magical place in New Hellesund, Olavsund. And we are going past uh, Olavsund a little bit later. We just had to get up the anchor. And uh, now we will be on our way. Places and it's completely protected against any winds. Today there is scale force outside, uh, so but uh, it's uh, blowing uh, from land. There's some issues with the anchor, I had to attend to that. Quite narrow passage here. Cool. As you can see outside, quite a bit of waves. So a little bit of gale, forcing wind. So out of water, so we have to go into town today and uh, refill all the tanks and uh, also drinking water. It will be a bumpy ride, but not for long because we are uh, going uh, more inland after a while. Hopefully uh, we will be protected by reefs and islands. There was 
not allowed to snow when we are out on sea. <laughs> Other gods are breaking the laws. start <laughs> it's going really slow luckily there's not much waves since the wind is coming from land but it's going really slow there's hail in the air so kind of painful too we have good wind protection from uh, our windscreen here in the sea and uh, they're flying small small hails I don't know if we can show it on the camera but small small light dots they're flying against us in 30 knots so it's like small projectiles just hitting the skin and uh, as you can see White folk on the sea. It's it's a bit cold, but uh, I was just thinking. Two months time from now, we will look back at this and think, yeah, it's all worth it. <laughs> Even if it was a cold start. <laughs> And actually, it could be much worse. It is winter time, so uh, it could be a lot worse. We're closing in on uh, Christian Sand, and uh, in this wind, that could be a bit challenging. And uh, so we just have to see how it goes. But uh, fortunately, it's a big harbor. So uh, we'll just uh, have to see what the wind is doing inside there and uh, make a good plan for uh, docking. But a uh, challenging docking, uh, I'm sure it's going to be. So how are you feeling about this uh, lovely weather today? Refreshing! 
Yes, ready to put out the anchor and uh, go swimming. Oh, you are? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of hard to see the beach from here. I did not wake up today and thinking today is going to be a wonderful snowy day. Oh. Getting there. We are now uh, very south in Norway and uh, we will be staying here for a couple of days. It's going to be windy like this for a couple of days, so uh, if we can dock in the marina, we will stay until uh, the next weather window and then we will uh, cross the start. Do you know the temperature in Denmark now? I don't know if I want to know. If it's better than here, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it can't be worse. <laughs> well, I think it's uh, 2 to 5 degrees. Or <laughs> a little less wind. And no snow. No snow. No snow. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, something to look forward to. The water has frozen. Oh my goodness. This is not okay. We have to get out of here. not too smooth I guess I can say one of the chores that needs to be done is uh, we have to walk to pick up water uh, because it is closed in the harbors and naturally that is because there is uh, snowing so any hoses would uh, be frozen quite soon. But I called the harbor master and uh, he promised that tomorrow I will uh, turn on some water for us and uh, some hoses during daytime. Hopefully there will be some uh, plus degrees and we can uh, uh, fill up the boat again because now it's all empty. What are you doing? She should have been in bed for a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a couple of weeks since we were in Kristiansand. Mm -hmm. And a and, bit warmer. And a bit, bit warmer it is. 
but uh, we're still not in Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, we waited for three days in uh, Kristiansand mm -hmm. on good weather, and uh, on the fourth day we were planning to leave uh, across Skagerrak and go to Denmark. And the weather window was good enough to go across over, but we lost. Last, last evening, minute, uh, yeah, last minute decision before we went to bed. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, how I, w I was feeling, uh, and uh, I've been really tired the last couple of days. So uh, we found out that uh, the price for crossing uh, would be too high. Uh, I would be too tired. Yeah, the best for everyone was just to make a team decision that uh, we. Uh, we should not do this this time, maybe s soon, but uh, not that time, because uh, that's what was right for us right there and then, Yeah. to just postpone that for another time. Yeah, so that's why we went home again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we didn't go home. No. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, uh, as I've said in the earlier movies uh, as well, uh, I really, really think I'm going to miss the Norwegian coast uh, and Norwegian fjords. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that was actually a really good alternative for us. Instead of uh, crossing from Kristiansand, we just continued up on the east coast of Norway, and uh, from there crossing over to Sweden. That's a four-hour crossing. So then we didn't have to do any long passages and uh, we could get time to rest in between and we can also choose the weather window even better so we don't have to go out in uh, so big, big waves and so much wind that we have been to get down here to Kristiansand. Yeah. But that has been like a, 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 a good learning experience for, for everyone on board that we have been out in the bad weather. So that was uh, one of the reasons why we also choose to cross this and Linda's Ness in bad weather mm. is because sometimes that happens and if we haven't prepared ourselves for it if we and haven't the kids. Or, and the kids and uh, they know what it is like and that it is safe in this boat anyway uh, then uh, that would be worse when we are doing some ocean crossings yeah I need a little bit longer time before I get uh, enough energy to go on longer crossing as well. So. Um, and I'm still uh, I'm still learning, so I can't be as many hours alone, especially when we sail, because I'm not comfortable with it. So I have to learn a little bit more about. Uh, I can sail, but I, I need for myself to. To have some more hours <laughs> yeah. on me before I feel comfortable. No practice. Yeah. So that is uh, a big change. We have been planning this trip for uh, months, <laughs> <laughs> and I have visualized it for years. <laughs> Our original plan was to cross uh, the North Sea and go uh, to Scotland, uh, but uh, that we changed soon to cross to Denmark. Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't cross to Scotland because of you, yeah. and we didn't cross to Denmark because of me. Uh, but uh, that's life. That's life, and uh, we are on this trip to to get better as well. So uh, I think uh, it was a really good decision. We have some really good movies uh, to show you uh, in the coming uh, weeks. Uh, so that would be really exciting. It will be about uh, going further up on the east coast of Norway and also the west coast of Sweden mm. and uh, eventually uh, we are not there yet but eventually we will <laughs> cross over to Denmark and uh, hit the Kiel Canal uh, and that we are looking forward to yeah yeah so yeah. it's been better for all of us just not just us adults but all the, uh, the kids too yeah yeah they have They've had more fun this way. Yeah. Look out for next video. Uh, we will uh, go to Lillesand, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
and we have a natural harbor there that will be really really nice to see uh, we have been there in uh, winter time no in summer time before and it was really great and uh, we were now in winter time so we had the whole place to ourselves we got to do some paddle uh, uh, boarding and uh, yeah. yeah a lot of fun really nice place yeah i love that place so we'll see you then bye that's all for now if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from us and if you hit the alert button as well you will get notified whenever we re release a new video